you know, it was a reasonably short break, so you know the way we try to do it is guys that haven't been on, or aren't going on tours. So a number of guys obviously in Australia, a number of guys were away with the Irish twenties as well. So um, yeah, we have a mixed group here: guys that weren't on tour, some guys, a few guys still uh, rehabbing some various different injuries. So um, yeah, today just about getting the guys back up to speed and. Um, more it's around logistics and some of the admin bits and um, some of the various different baseline tests that they'll do as well so um, it's been a reasonably short break so uh, good seeing the group getting back together again a um, few new faces we have floating around the place which I'm sure everyone will see at some stage um, so yeah now it's good to be back um, we'll have another break then during the middle of pre-season where some other teams are probably going to be hard at it so um, just trying to break up the break up the pre-season because I know from experience, having gone through a lot of pre-seasons myself, they can be uh, they can be hard going. You know, we want to get better, um, so that means making sure we're in better physical condition going into the season. So big emphasis on that, and behind the scenes and all the work that goes in there is huge. Um, you know, from a rugby point of view, just uh, making sure we're 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 skillfully better, our tactical appreciation of the game is better. So we'll we'll do a bit of work inside as well as outside. Um, and yeah, so that's just the biggest thing for us is just trying to continue to improve. And we know everyone else around Europe will be trying to do the same. So for us, we just need to focus on how we get better. The players know it's such a competitive environment, and they all, you know, we're we're actually here at the moment, and there's still guys that are in the squad that are still playing this weekend against Australia. So, you know, we've a lot of guys that are very ambitious, young guys that want to not just play for Leinster but go on and play for Ireland as well. And you know, they need to understand how they can close that gap so they can get on that plane to for the next trip to Australia, wherever that trip is going to be. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's competitive, and they know this is a window for them to get better now. So, the players are smart enough to figure that out themselves. Um, you know, for us as coaches, just make, making sure we do everything we can possibly can do to facilitate their improvement. So, um, that's what we try to focus on: making sure the program gets better. A um, few tweaks in terms of facilities and little bits off the field, um, and what we do, how we deliver messages. So, um, yeah, no, it's an exciting block for guys. You know. It, uh, as you say, you know when you come off a successful campaign, everyone wants to get back and start playing well again. Um, so we need to figure out what actually worked well for us last year, and you know a couple of times during the course of the season where it didn't work quite so well. So um, yeah, great challenge for us again. Um, everyone's raring to go, uh, even though it's early. Um, it's uh, yeah, no, hopefully the, the group are you know they're they're hungry to kick on now and um, you know deliver you know improvements in their game as a team and but individually as well.